Hi friends, my name is Antonisha and I'm a staff writer here at The Daily Grace Co. Listen, I wanna to talk to you about building community. Making friends and building community is not always as easy as we want it to be. Meeting new people and forming meaningful relationships is often a time-consuming and even intimidating thing. But we don't wanna feel isolated and we long for community. As followers of Jesus, we wanna be connected with other Christians. So how can we build a rich, life-giving and gospel-centered community? Well, your first step would be to connect with the local church. Gospel Center community is best cultivated in fellowship with other followers of Jesus who gather to worship and serve God together. Hebrews 10, 24 through 25 says, let us consider one another in order to provoke love and good works, not neglecting to gather together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other. If you're not part of a local body of believers right now, pray for wisdom and find the place where God would have you to worship and serve. Another way to cultivate gospel-centered community is for married people and single people to befriend each other. Both married and single people can learn from one another and encourage each other. Acts 2, 44 through 47 shows us a picture of believers in the early church who all met together to eat, fellowship, and enjoy Jesus together. There's no mention of who was married or single, engaged or dating, or any other distinctions for that matter. Some of my best friends are married and it's good for me to spend time with them and their families and invest in their lives just like they invest in mine. Friendship between married and single people does not have to look a certain way. Married friends, don't just invite your single friends over to your house for dinner. Spend time in their space too, doing things that they like to do. And single friends, don't be afraid to invite married friends over to your house or out for coffee or dinner with you. Now. There are times when it's needed and appropriate to connect with people of your own age, whether they're married or single. However, when it comes to building community, there are incredible benefits to spending time with people who are older than you. They have experienced more and many of them have been walking with Jesus for a long time. There's joy and beauty in finding friendship and community with older saints. In the same way, you can build community with believers who are younger than you. Spending time with younger believers is an avenue for discipleship and an opportunity to be an older brother or sister in the faith for someone who's seeking to follow Jesus. Don't be afraid to approach someone who is older or younger than you to initiate friendship. I've learned so much from my older friends and from my younger friends. One of the beauties of biblical community is that we all share a common bond in Christ, no matter how old we are. Your final step in cultivating gospel-centered community is gonna be to be patient. Building community doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to meet people and to get to know people. It takes intentionality and it takes consistency. Building community also takes trust in Jesus, who is the head of the body, his church, and the one who gives us the good gift of community. Being a part of a godly community is all about people from all different places and ages and seasons being united under one name, and that's Jesus. Christ is the foundation through which our relationships are built we have the opportunity to be part of each other's lives and families in ways that benefit and enrich all of us, no matter what our individual lives may look like. Share with us in the comments what your community looks like and what you love about it. And don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Until then, we'll see you next time, friend.